Here we go. Hi there, my name is Kendrick, and today I get to interview Katie. So Katie, welcome. Hi. So Katie, can you please tell us your full type? Yeah, so I was typed ESFP, um, double feminine, S-E-F-I, consume, play, blast, sleep blast. All right, sweet. And then when you got your results back, what did you think and how did you feel? Um, so honestly, it wasn't that surprising to me. I didn't really, I did not guess that as my type. Um, when I was into like Myers-Briggs, I always typed as an ENTP. Um, so I kind of was thinking it would be something like that when I first got in to OP, I thought it was going to be like any TI, but then I actually started learning about it. And I, I was like, okay, I think I see, um, OI and DI. And then I submitted my typing video and I was like, okay, now I'm like actually invested fully. Once I submitted it, I was like, oh, now I'm like, without a doubt, OE, like first. And then I th still thought um, FI. So it wasn't very surprising. I just, the, I guess the SE was a little surprising because I hadn't really thought of that before. So. All right. Well, at least you're still like a, an EP, you know. At the <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I guess you saw that part in you. Yeah. The chaotic side. Yeah. Um, all right. And so. How did you get into typology to begin with? Um, I mean, so I've dabbled in a lot of different things. Really, I think the main thing that draws me to all typology um, is just the growth aspect. So the, the other typology I've gotten really into is Enneagram. Um, and I actually found uh, objective personality through um, Enneagrammer. So that's how I found this. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I think in my opinion, like besides objective personality, I think the, uh, the other personality system that's also legit is Enneagram. Like, I, I don't think the other stuff is legit, like socioonics and all that stuff. But I actually, honestly, uh, ob objective personality is confusing. Like it's, it's so in depth already like I looked at socian socionics and I was like I don't even understand there's like not any good um resources that I found or so I don't know I mean maybe like there's something somewhere out there that's got some bit little nugget of truth in it that I we could take and learn uh, but I haven't yeah <laughs> I mean I guess astrology like I, that was probably the first like personality type that yeah. I ever got into when I was really young. But that was more just, it was like a, the first way to, to look at yourself from the outside, like in one of those really digestible ways. Yeah. I think astrology is more for fun. It's like, yeah. I, I don't think yeah. it's like super legit but I think it's for I think it's kind of fun you know yeah I, I mean there's every once in a while I'm like oh that's kind of like surprisingly accurate for that person but it's not always accurate and yeah. that's like where it's yeah. kind of but I don't know you can still gain insights from things that are you know not 100% accurate right right that's true um all right let's go over your parts uh let's start okay. with let's start with your consume your consume is SF Mm -hmm. uh, how do you personally experience your SF consume? Um, okay, so I, this is pretty interesting because for a second I thought I might be consumed last, um, like when I was like first getting into it. Um, but that's just because the way I consume with feminine SE and masculine FI, I am really drawn to things that spark like feeling in myself, like something that like 
resonates with me and like is moves me. So when I think of consume, I mean, there's a lot of different ways. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about it like all day, but um, like I read a lot. Um, and most of the time I like to read things that are uh, like fantasy or like, cause the facts aren't as important that I hold my facts loosely. So if, as long as it moves me, I feel like I, I like to consume. Um, and the same with like, I'll do video games and um, art. I don't know. I feel like that maybe is a form of con consume. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, I mean, especially depending on your sexual modality. So you're like tester visual, right? So yeah, um, it's going to be like smell and, and, and whatever you see. So like, so do you like to try like different food? And also like, do you like to, uh, do you learn best from like seeing and stuff? Um, so yes, I do. I think I will try anything once. Um, I mean, I definitely have things that I know I like, um, but one of the, honestly, one of the things that gets me like in trouble, not in trouble, but you know, um, is I'll go somewhere and like, I will just order something new whenever I go somewhere. And then I'm always disappointed because it doesn't like meet my FI expectation, but I'm always like, Ooh, I want to try the other thing. I want, what if like, maybe there's something even better than the one thing I had. So yeah, I do um, definitely like to try new things. And then what was the other part of that question? Uh, oh, visual. Yeah. I, I'm definitely a visual person. Like I have a very vivid imagination <laughs> and usually I'll remember things by like, having image in my head of it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, it's interesting you said that you like to consume things that like makes that, that creates emotion in you. Yeah. Um, because I also have FI and I can relate to that. Like the, yeah. the best things that I've consumed had like the biggest emotional reaction inwardly. So I, I feel like if something that I'm consuming doesn't have a lot of a strong emotional I don't know. It doesn't create any strong emotions. It's it's probably not that good, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. And and that will make me and maybe because especially because I have feminine feminine sensory, like it makes me extra OI in the fact that I'm like, oh, like there's this one thing I want to try it. Oh, uh, it doesn't meet my expectation. Like I'm gonna try something else. Oh, that doesn't meet my expectation either. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna try something else. And then I find things that I really like um, and I like just gobble them up. Not, like, I mean, if it's food, yes, but like books or um, images. Like, so I do a lot of collaging. That's like one of the big art things I do. So I am like always scrolling through Pinterest and like collecting images. I think Shan described that as like the feminine SE or something. So she, yeah, I've heard like feminine SE people describe that before, especially with Pinterest. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um, why don't we go to your play next? Your play is double feminine and it's double activated and it's ST. Um, how do you personally experience that? And it's with the tribe, right? Because it's play. So right, yeah. So okay. Um, both of my extroverted functions are feminine. So I feel, and it's play. So both extroverted function, feminine play. I do a lot of my leading, not like, like as in leadership. I feel like that's where I pull from play. And so a lot of the time I end up kind of being a therapist, like not a therapist, but I I am good at 
the big picture. I feel like the SE like overview I can do and like it's the details I'll miss and drop and forget, but I'm always aware of the overview of the situation and I can like help guide people. I feel like play is where I pull that like leadership from. And I guess you use your anti-blast, which is your third animal to like give them advice and stuff that you've figured out because it's anti, right? So you've like, and then you have masculine and I also, which is yeah. kind of, it's kind of cool for ESFP. Yeah. Then you mm -hmm. have like a superpower that like a lot of ESFPs don't have access to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with the blast, like, so I feel like both of my extroverted animals, like my play and my blast, I use both of them and I don't have F feeling in those. So when I am like dealing with the tribe, when I'm like guiding, interacting, like all pinging, when I do like brainstorming, I feel like I usually come from a very non feeling place. So when I do really get in, if like, if we're talking demon blast, I feel like that's when I could be like, cause my NI, NI is masculine. I can be a little bit harsh, like in feedback. Like I, cause I kind of just, I like say it. Cause I'm like, oh, how come you didn't see this? This is so obvious like to me and like I forget all these little details and how did you not see this coming like I feel like that's that's where it comes like negative but you can use I can use my blast like not always negative but yeah I think it's also PE PE can come across as more like harsh than 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 Effie you know <laughs> but but it's necessary you know so yeah yeah um all right, now let's go to the good stuff. Your 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 last animal, <laughs> sleep last double masculine NF, um, double masculine NF sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you personally experience that? That's that's a big one because that's like your true identity, right? It's like the one that you feel inside, and it's double masculine also. Uh, I'll ask you several questions about this, but I want to hear your what what you how how you what's your opinion of it first, and how you. Okay. Experience. So. I thought I was sleep first because both of my introverted animals are masculine. I also feel like pretty masculine inside. Like I feel strong in my internal world. Um, but, okay, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I feel like I have fairly decent access to my sleep because of that but it comes on like in swings or something where like I consume a lot of information during the day and my feminine se forgets all the details and just I'm new 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 and then at the end of the day I think I will I'll like download and sometimes it makes it actually hard to sleep like physically sleep I know that when we talk about sleep it's not necessarily physical sleep but that's kind of when my the rest of me shuts down I'm not like talking to anyone it's just where I am with myself and that's when the thoughts connect and I'm like oh I that like I'm connecting the dots at night usually um that also happens, sorry, this is a different kind of tangent, but it's related. Um, so I do a lot of collaging and art. And I think that it it's like consume in the moment, but I feel like it it helps me access my sleep energy because af I'll get into like a quiet space where I'm just in the flow where like things, um, you know, feel right and they flow and they connect. And then afterwards I step back and I like just 
analyze my art kind of like I just look at my art just like I would a dream which I actually have pretty vivid dreams too so I wonder if that has anything to do with double masculine sleep last like processing in my sleep but yeah I, I can relate to a lot of the stuff you said because I'm the same as you I have double feminine play and double masculine sleep also sleep last um I, I, I can relate when you said like you, sometimes you can't sleep because you're downloading or you're processing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of sleep last people have trouble using their sleep, but like, I feel like if you have double masculine sleep, you can use it. Uh, I've, I've noticed it with people that are like I've interviewed and stuff. It's like double masculine sleep for some reason, the moment it becomes double masculine, you can see it like even mm -hmm. if it's more, um, and then, yeah, you're right. It does make sleeping hard because you have to do it now because it's double masculine, right? So you're yeah. not you're obviously not doing it during the day. So you know, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, the other thing too, I'm I, I kind of interested in the way you said it though, because like the way your animals stack are. Um, so you said that you can tap um tap into your sleep when you use your, your consume. Yeah, which, which makes sense because like you know when you're using one animal, it's easy to transition to another one. Yeah, but like your consume and your sleep are like the furthest end of the thing. I so, know. Yeah, because like for me, I'm play blast consume sleep, so it 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 makes sense for me to consume and sleep together, and then play blast together, right? But like yours is in the two ends, so like I'm like, what the hell is that? How is that like skipping to the well, end? Yeah, I don't know. I'm like maybe it's because because I was thinking about this too. Um, I've had a lot of time to sleep process today and consume because I've been traveling all day. Right, but um, I wonder if it's because of my masculine feeling in my consume and that like pulls me to my sleep or something because they're both masculine yeah no that, that that i mean it's possible it could be a bridge right so <laughs> um yeah, I mean, the, I think the way I'm seeing it, though, it's like it's different from the, the way it, it's different from me and you is mm -hmm. like, I think for me, when I consume, then that's when I sleep. And it's like I stay there for you. I think you're getting previews of the sleep when you're consuming. So, yes. Yeah. So I think that's where it's different because you're getting the preview while I deep dive. So you're getting previews throughout the day as you're consuming. <clears throat> and I'm deep diving in like a, uh, when I allocate the time for it. Um. Part, part of your sleep is also the NF side, uh, which is like the woo-woo stuff. Like, um, do you feel like you can read the emotion of people that like of the people that matters to you the most? Because that's that's what Dave said. It's like they oh, have, yeah. you have to be inside him. Otherwise, he can't he doesn't give a shit and he can, doesn't read it. But like for you, if if someone's important to you, do you can you read the vibe when you're with them? Oh, definitely. Like I I feel like I feel like I can. I mean, maybe I'm projecting, like maybe it's not accurate, but I feel like I get a read on him. Yeah. <laughs> My husband, especially, I can always tell when he's like, if he just walks in the door, I'm like, oh, something happened today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So you're using the SE also because you're looking yes. at the action. Yeah. 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 And then you're processing it with your NF because you because you know him, right? So right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh cool. Okay. And then um, another cool thing about like um, NF sleep is you guys can have like a, a code that you follow that kind of um, it's like your guiding your guiding light essentially um, you know I'll I'll give some examples but let me know if you you have some I, I bet you probably have a bunch um, you know so like you know Jocko Willink he has discipline equals freedom um, you know he's an ESFP also except he's a jumper. Um, my girlfriend, she's an INTJ um, jumper. So her code is, um, what was her code again? Um, discomfort over resentment. So that's that's her code. Um, you know, and you can apply that in lots of situations, right? Where like you you don't want to get go outside your comfort zone. So um, you know, but later no, on, no one's really good actually. That's like it reminds me of a book that I read about. Um, it was from a psychologist and he was talking about it's basically delaying of gratification yeah. that's like what that is and that's like something it's so important for people to learn like early on in their lives and a lot of people don't so 
So I feel like that's like just a really good one. Is, is that your code then? Delay, grat delay gratification? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, but that's just a good one. I like it. Um, so I actually, I do have a couple things. Um, okay, so this one, I've talked about this a few times, but this says this too shall pass. Oh my God, another ESFP told me that. Like, <laughs> and, and then also um, David Goggins, that ESFP guy, he also said the same thing. Oh, in, really? In his book. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys are copying each other. <laughs> I know. But okay, so a lot of the time when people think about the phrase, this too shall pass, yeah. it's a lot of the time has a negative spin. It's like people processing negative moments. Yeah. And they're like, it's okay. You just have to get through it. But that isn't really the way I think of it. When I think of it, I think of enjoy the moment because the, these moments that you have are fleeting. Okay. And yeah. So like enjoy the good. That's kind of enjoy it now because it won't be around and you don't know how long you have and you don't know how long a moment will last. So that's that's what I think of when I think this too shall pass. Um, but also like on my body, this too shall pass. Like our lives are limited and we need to make the best use of them now. Right. Um, yeah, so that's one of my like little <laughs> life whatever's sayings, mottos, mantras. Yeah. Um, also, I did some intentional work in, in that area. And I actually made what I, what we call a moonshot. And it's basically a life goal. And my moonshot is to always have an open mind, to live life passionately and foster creativity and to be unapologetically myself. All right, uh, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna give you my opinion. Okay. <laughs> um, so your your um, mantras, those are your, those are your savior state mantras. Cause, cause, yeah. uh, cause, cause you know, this too shall pass. I think I like your, I do like your spin to it. Uh, mm -hmm. because it, it is definitely true and I think mm -hmm. people especially like if you're like an INTJ who's living in NI land all the time I think mm -hmm. that's super good for them because they, they 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 keep planning and they never live in a moment and then everything and then before they know it they look back and they're like oh shit my life ha my life has passed me by and I've done nothing with it you know that I that I can be proud of or that I enjoyed or you know so so I think that's it's a good one for sure and then the other one um what was the other one that you said again the uh, to always have an open mind, to live life passionately and foster creativity, and to be unapologetically myself. Okay. Okay. So that's like a DI and OE kind of thing. So like, yeah. like either like a, you know, ESFP or ENFP kind of mantra. So I, I can see that. Um, okay. So now, now that you've covered those, do you have any demon mantras? Like, like that works in your demon specifically, you know? No. I'm like, what would that be? Um, it's it's always the opposite of who you are. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you some examples, and maybe you can. Maybe, I'm pretty sure you've seen something because you consume a lot. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way in hell. Like I bet you've seen a code before. And you're like, mm, that one is fa interesting because like maybe I should be doing that. Like you know, okay, like Jocko Willing, discipline equals freedom. That's like very anti EP, right? So I think mm -hmm. that's like a good one because it's the opposite. You know, because EP some. Yeah, shit. but I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, you don't want it, but that's like I mean, that's kind of like the free discipline equals freedom. If that's how you get freedom, right? Like mm -hmm. he, he had a talk with um Joe Rogan and he said mm -hmm. if you have the discipline to work out and 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 study and stuff, then when you go on stage to be a comedian, then you have the freedom to express yourself, right? But if you don't have all this like discipline in the back end, you don't have the freedom to do the what matters the most, right? Um, but anyways, um another good one is like um the vice president of the US. Kamala Harris, like her, she's an ENTJ, right? So her, her, um, her mantra is like, be joyful warriors. Um, mm -hmm. because, because like, you know, I think she knows that PE is harsh. Um, uh, mm -hmm. so be joyful, like use the FI, you know, let's have some, some happiness. So I think that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, 
have you ever watched WWE like the wrestling thing? Or your does your husband see? Have you seen it? No. Okay. Okay. When I was really young, I feel like I saw some, but I I know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, because like there's there's a there's a guy in that thing. His name's the Undertaker. I don't know if you've heard of him. No. Okay. So yeah. Anyways, they type him in a class like not too long ago. He's an ISFP. Um. So he, his code will be like even if you don't know the guy, it doesn't matter. Like the the code is. He's an ISFP, so you know, like as an IP, they're like the biggest selfish people in the world, supposedly, right? But like he has two codes, and one of his code is like savior state, and the other one's demon state, which is I think is good to have both of them. So mm-hmm. his savior state one is like live your life according to how you want to live it, which is very FI like DI kind of way. Uh, but then his his demon state one was uh, the something that he got from his dad, and his his dad told him, um, for for every person that you step on to get to the top, it's the same asses that you have to kiss on your way down. Um, so so the, the, the way his mantra is, is like always treat people with respect because that's yeah. that's going to be what life is. And it's very decider-like because, you know, stepping on people, kissing people's ass, like it's like people problems, right? Like you didn't yeah. even see any of that when you, when you, when you had your mantra. So um, I think if there was going to be something, like I don't have a, a mantra for it, but something along the lines of follow through and it escaped me I was like there was something there I was it's okay your feminine sensory so um like make a list I okay that that's kind of, that's good because it uses your blast, which is your demon. That's, yeah. that's but what what about the sleep part? Like, do you have like a man? Do you have a code for the NF sleep part? Like the NF part at least. You know. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know that I have. Okay. Um. Let let, let me throw out some examples your way. Like. Okay. Um, so. Angelina Angelina Jolie, right? She's an ESFP. Um, she's mm-hmm. consumed sleep play blast. So she's super NF for like a a, a, a lead sensory. Um, yeah. and I don't I don't know if you know some, some some of her history, but like she adopted her kid from Cambodia. She like, I don't know, did some charity work there too and stuff. And she's like adopting all like all the different kids from different races and stuff. And it's like she's all about like multiculturalism and stuff. And you know, so a lot of it's like very NF, but like you're making the world a better place essentially. But instead of her saying it, she's doing it through her actions, you know? Mm-hmm. So I guess you could say NF is kind of like more on like, besides having a purpose, I mean, so NF is purpose and mission, right? Having a purpose and mission in life. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like the guiding light essentially because it like helps you like find find a reason to live, you know, mm-hmm. and to to make hu- humanity a better place. So like, um, so for her, she's doing all this like, you know, good stuff for, for those different, um, you know, racial groups right and then um like even kim kardashian right like she's she has savior nf also she's consumed sleep play blast also and then um uh, i don't know what she, i don't know if you heard what she was up to she, like she went back to like school to be like a lawyer so she can help people who was wrong wrongfully in person um mm-hmm. get a second chance to get out of the system and stuff so that's like you know really doing good deeds helping out like you know making a difference right and it's even mm-hmm. it's good to see it from her because she, She's using her popularity to to make a difference because mm-hmm. she, she can because she has that like she has that status right to 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 yeah. do that right? so so that's like a good way of use, using the NF right but they have it in a savior state so obviously it's easier for them to to figure yeah. to figure it out right so yeah. um so like my my question to you is like have you ever given this some any thought um you know because you do have a double masculine so it's not like you probably have it's not, it's probably it's probably like something that has popped up in your head um. And you thought about, you know, like as in helping, it it doesn't have to be helping, but it could be like, like, like having a purpose and mission in life, essentially, you know, like something bigger, bigger than yourself, essentially, you know, because that that, if you look at those two examples, I I made like helping, you know, people that was wrongfully in prison, that what, what does it have to do with her? She doesn't have to do that. She's already super rich, right? So she she wants to make a, uh, she wants to make um you know she wants to help people you know mm-hmm. uh because th- it's it's an injustice right what happened to them so yeah. 
Um, and obviously using the FI, right? Like, okay, I feel like this is an injustice. Plus she's an EP, you know, like you don't want to be like trapped, right? So, right. so, so instead of like, you know, causing chaos, she's giving freedom to other people, you know? Right. So it's like, mm-hmm. the, it's like, I feel like your, your, your biggest gift as a person comes from your type. Like if you're an IJ, you can give people like, I don't know, like certainty or order yeah. or whatever, right? But as an EP, give people freedom, right? So yeah. she, that's what she's doing. She's giving people freedom. Essentially. Yeah. So have you given this any thought at all? Like, I mean, I haven't, not like specifically in relation to NF functions. Right, right. Um, I mean, I, I feel strongly about uh, like helping animals. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and like I've done a lot of like adopting and of animals and I don't it's just like I don't know if that's sleep though like, like if it's NF sleep I don't know but um but yeah I mean because it's pretty sad what happens to the animals <laughs> but yeah no I, I feel like that that would be um an interesting thing to explore I'd have to sleep on it <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course. Um, no, no. But- okay, so part of my my moonshot um, is to uh, foster creativity. And when I thought of that, like, I didn't necessarily mean in myself. I I meant around me. Like, I want to be... I don't want to control anyone. Right. I want, I don't want to tell people what to do, but I want to be an example and like be a presence that makes people feel like they can be themselves and like access their own creativity. Like, so I don't know, maybe that's NF. Um, it is, but it's unfinished. So you, you, yeah. know, you need to like flush like, it out, flush it out more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, but it, it, I think you're on the right track. Like the animal mm-hmm. stuff too. I think it's also on the right track, but it needs to be like narrowed down even more. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's kind of cool. Cause like I, I have a friend, he's an INTJ, but he has, he's like play last. So he's double mm-hmm. activated the NF and I was watching him in action. And I was like, man, I can't even do that. that so this is how NF works. Like, we were talking about like how to find the exact like problem that people have. Like what 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 are people really feeling? And what are what what is actually the problem, right? You know, because right. people are saying bullshit all the time, but like is that yeah. really the problem, right? And I can see him like sitting there like mulling over it. And he's and he's lead NT, but because of the double activate NF, he has like he can he can do it and stuff. And then and he he'll like lock into like specific words, right? Like this person feels constrained or this person feels like they're coasting in life, right? And then he'll he he's like thinking of like the actual trigger words, right? And then like, and then and then he, and then he'll bring forth like out uh, outwardly afterwards, right? And then people, um, you know, like he's he's doing marketing, right? For example, he has like a, a YouTube channel, how to, teaching men how to dance, you know, um, and then and his like target market are like guys who are like recently got divorced or so so like they can impress like the ladies or like um. Uh, with their, or like someone that is going to a social event and they, they feel embarrassed that they can't dance and stuff. So that's, that's his target market, right? And then so he's like, you know, it's like, what are the trigger words, you know, that would make them um scared to not to not dance and stuff, right? So he'll right. actually like, you know, provide the, the trigger words and stuff. And he uses NIFI to like, to think about it and like see how, actually how what they're actually feeling deep yeah. down. Because NF is like super deep emotions, right? Yeah. So, so, uh, so I thought I was like really cool when I was seeing it in action. I'm like, I definitely cannot do that. But I thought it was cool to see to see someone. Yeah, because my sleep is S S. It's S F, right? So for me, I can pinpoint the exact emotion, but I can't I can't pinpoint like the the emotion that has like the the, the biggest big picture. Right. It's it's a little bit different because like I feel like N F is more bigger and S F mm-hmm. is more like, narrow. So, yeah. um, they 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 go hand in hand. They're both important in my opinion. You know, because the, the little narrow thing is, is could be what's causing the big explosion, right? So, right, of that, yeah. right, but and vice versa, right? So, mm-hmm. 
Okay. Um. Well. Anyways, I think I think you're I think you're on the right track with like the creativity thing and the animal thing. And I, it would be cool to see if you like. I feel like it's more like a it's like it's like a sculpture, and you're like chipping away at it. Yeah. And then as you get older, you're like, oh, so this is exactly what this is what I really wanted to to do, you know? Yeah. But it, it'll take time, obviously, especially with sleep last. It's like it's gonna take yeah. some time. Well, um, and also, I feel like just being having a hard time narrowing down in general, like being lead OE. Um, I feel like that it can be just harder because even when I was doing like the intentional work, like, because I've done like, like, where do I want my life to be in a year, in two years, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years, and like written it out and then wrote my like, what do you call it? The 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 light like after you die oh you're like your will or something or your, Not your will like your um my brain wants to say epilogue and it's not that the thing where you know obituary thing it's like what goes on the tombstone or something not the thing that goes on the tombstone like like a story about how you want your end of life basically okay That's i see and in that call, like, it's funny now thinking about it, because there's some people who are very good at narrowing down specific details and being like, this is what I want, like, in this, in five years, like, this is where I want to be in five years. And when I did that, when I went through that, it was always, this is how... I want to feel like this is where I want to be in like what how I want to be rather than how I want things to be like there's not exact pinpoint detail I don't know <laughs> well I, I think it's good that you're doing that at least yeah. I think the other people are probably not doing doing that so I think that's like a you know it's a step in the right direction right yeah, um, for sure. I think the good thing about like being your type though is like when you do figure it out, it's probably gonna be better than lead sleeps because they don't have any materials from life experience to to properly craft um that NF like vision, you know. They they mm -hmm. they they rush to it really quickly yeah. without taking the time to like experience life first. So I don't think you can describe it as perfectly or as appropriately as possible without those materials and and like kind of like your 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 you know like this too shall pass thing yeah. like, like I think it's because that you do have you 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 are living life and your life is rich mm -hmm. with experience that when 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 it when it does come time for you to to narrow down you could be like I've lived my life and I can Look at all these things I did now <laughs> yeah but then you, you can pinpoint with your FI like which are the best right yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you have the range. If you don't have the range, like how can you really say that's the best? Because you've only done that one thing, right? Or two, right? You know? Yeah, so. but some people are just like, they know. They're like, this is what I want just from day one. They're just like, I want to be an astronaut. And they spend their entire life going for it. And you know, that that's got its own benefits too, I imagine. But I don't know. I think it's like 50-50. I think yeah. Or maybe maybe less than 50-50. But I feel like those people they got lucky. That's number one. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true. You, you can get lucky, right? It's like, oh yeah, you know. But I mean, how many astronauts are there, right? There's not many. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. So those people got lucky for sure. Um, and then I think the other people they're just lazy, you know. <laughs> they're like they, they don't want to explore. So that's kind yeah. of my opinion. Um I, I find really those people, afraid. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Fear. Afraid, yeah. Lazy or fear, yeah. right? And and maybe the laziness is a, is is the excuse to mm -hmm. to not face the fear, right? So right. so yeah. Um, I mean they can argue, they can make fun of us too as EPs. They could be like, oh yeah, oh you're saying we're we're fearful. Well, look at you guys. You guys you guys are afraid to commit. That's 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 your guys. You guys are the the real like cowards, you know. So, um, so. 
I mean, yeah, I guess I guess that's why the EPs and IJs, they, we have like that problem with fear. I don't know if you heard that from OPS. It's like those two types. Because like IJs, I'm sorry, IPs and EJs, they have bigger problems with, with pain. Mm-hmm. But we have bigger problems with fear, right? So, um, so I guess it is the fear of like the polar opposite, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, I, I want to switch to our last topic because uh, I, yeah, for the sake of time. Um, I, I want to ask you about your social type. Uh, what what oh. social type do you think you are? Um, two. Two? Okay. And then um, can you can you share uh, what ma- made you come to that conclusion that you're like a two? <clears throat> yeah. So um, like just as basic as... I can be is that I feel like I am most of the time the grown up in the room. Like, even though like I have feminine SE and I'm forgetting the details, like I I take things on. Like I I pick things up where other people don't. Um, and like, I'm not a one, like, I don't have the ego behind it. Like, I don't necessarily, I don't want to be at the top, but I like to move up. I like pulling things. I'm like, I mean, OE and two, I think like kind of match. Um, I would probably be a better two if I was masculine SE and I could remember all the details and not like forget my phone at the airport, but (laughs) you know um but yeah i i just have a natural tendency to pick things up and i like to move up quickly and take opportunities like in work that's kind of where i was going with it you like working then i do i like working um i mean i also like not working so you like both then yeah (laughs) I mean, so right now, um, for work, I am, like, I've spent a long time in management. Um, I like being a leader. I like being someone who's, who people come to for support. Um, But right now, I'm a business coach. So basically, I travel, and I coach people on how to be a franchise owner, like be an entrepreneur is right. basically what I do. Oh my right God. Now. You're definitely a two. Cause like, you know, <laughs> like, it's, you know, two, two's like are like very entrepreneurial. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. You're also very sharp. Like I'm talking to you right now. I'm like, Oh, you're very sharp. So, um, yeah, you're definitely, um, no offense to the other ESFPs, but you're smarter than the average ESFP. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I win, right? I'll, I'll leave it at that because otherwise I might cause too much problems. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, it's maybe because you're double active with TE also. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, I am. And I think a lot of that, like those are both of my expert animals are right in the middle. My TE is right there with my play and my blast. And I feel like that helps me get ahead. I mean, I'm really good with money. Like just always have been ever since I was a little kid. Like when I was 18, like I have an entrepreneurial like bone in my body, just like with life. Like I take things on myself. I take responsibility for myself and like I moved across the country when I was just a kid and started a whole life there and take taken steps like I've owned two houses and I mean I'm not rich like I don't make that much money but I am responsible just like I can't help it it just (laughs) yeah it's it's like it's just you right (laughs) who I am Yeah. yeah um I, I think like because the way they described it in the classes is like consume is two is is two and and then yeah. okay yeah and then play is four so hmm. 
you're 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 almost like yeah. matching up. Yeah. The, the the only the only thing that's a little bit slightly very slightly different is you do have blast savior. So, um, and and blast is, is three. So I think that's the only thing where it should which, be. Which is really funny because I feel like I am like not a three at all. Like I feel like if if there's any of the social types, I would debate in four. Because I do have, like, I feel like definitely friends is in there. Like, yeah. I like supporting people. I like bringing the tribe with me when I, not all of them, but, you know, like, I like moving up and I like supporting people in their growth. Right. Um, but I don't have specialized. Like, the, my, I don't know what it is, but I have a hard time specializing. I specialize in like being a jack of all trades is basically it. Like I feel like I really struggle with the specialization. Yeah, no, I I can I can relate for sure. Um, I'm also a two, so <laughs> yeah, I get triggered. The fact if I have to specialize in something, I get triggered. So, um, so I get I totally get it. <laughs> um, all right, Katie. Um, I think we'll wrap up the interview here. So, uh, thanks for coming out and sharing more about your life your experiences and how you personally experience being an ESFP of this specific type. Uh, definitely learned some interesting insights from you. I like your take on your code um, also. This too shall pass because it's it's it has a positive spin to it as opposed to the more negative ones of, mm -hmm. you know, like I can't wait for this, this suffering to end, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think that's, that's super cool. So anyways, yeah, take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening and then I'll see you around the group. Thank you so much. All right. See you. Bye.